Hey, what did he say? Uh, oh. Curly, when you reminded him. Uh, well, the thing is, Vera, he, he wasn't very sure. Not sure? What do you mean, not sure? Where is it? Oh. Vera, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, I've been He's waiting all week. Hey, you... What are they flaming out this? I beg your pardon, Mrs. You've given her a job, haven't you? A kid barely out of nappies. This is a staff training session, Mrs. Duckworth. Well, you won't need a staff training session if you give me a job, would you? I mean, I'm fully trained. Oh, I see. That's what it's all about, is it? Do you know, I took him in off the street, him, when he had notes. And this is the thanks I get. Mrs. Duckworth, if you wish to make a complaint, please do it more quietly. I am the manager of this store, and you are undermining my status. I know you're the flaming manager. That's why I thought you'd help us. How could you do it? You know me and our Jack Stratford cash, and I can do the job. Well, it's not going to be easy, is it, Vera? Last time your name was mentioned in this store, it was for shoplifting. Hey, now, hang on. That wasn't true, and you didn't believe it, so you said. I was the one that got you off. They wanted you hung, drawn and quartered. There was no need to get me off, it wasn't true. Oh, so you say. No. Look, I I'm sorry, Vera. I remember you when you were a dustman with a telescope and a load of dreams. You used to think then, you used to think all the time, but now you're just a tall Red Jolesworth. No, you're not even that. You change, Curly Watson, not for the better. Vera, look, Vera. Hey, hang on. It's Mrs. Duckworth to you. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, that hairstyle makes you look stupid. Yeah, and your tie. Your tie's never straight. Yeah, go on, I hope it chokes you. 